Out of all the video games and comic books and other properties that have been turned into movies over the years, Sonic the Hedgehog was very low on the list of things I cared about. But then the movie came out and it was a big hit. And now here I am in 2022 talking about the Sonic the Hedgehog sequel and how I was actually really excited to see it. Let's quickly talk about the pros of the, what's that, Tails Miles Per Hour? whose name is a pun, and there's lots of puns in this movie, by the way, I love a good pun. You get me. Tails just reminded me that I should invite you to subscribe to Adam Does Movies right here on this channel, because I post tons of movie reviews, rants, reactions, things related to film. As I was saying, there's a lot of puns in this film, so if that type of dialogue makes you cringe, maybe, maybe back away a little bit. I think it has more than the first. Some of them revolving around swear words, kind of like in Ninja Turtles when they used to say, what the shell, just kind of skirting the line between kid and adult humor, which I appreciate, but I know some parents will be like, oh my, oh my stars! Dr. Robotnik almost used a, a potty word. Come on, Garrett and Benison, let's go home and watch Disney's Turning Red. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks delightful and definitely won't offend me. I mentioned Dr. Robotnik, AKA Eggman, AKA Jim Carrey. He's back, just as good as ever. I, I, I love Jim Carrey, such a fun actor. He might be rocking a new stash and a Jada Pinkett Smith hairdo, Get my but he's- name out your f mouth. Uh, Dude, I'm, I, I'm sorry, it was just Keep a reference. Okay, okay, wow. Ben Schwartz is back as the blue blur. If his voice kind of got to in the first film, that hasn't changed. He's all in on this character. I like Ben Schwartz, I think he's hilarious. And Sonic's a goofball in these films. He likes to goof around. Ben Schwartz nails that. Some Sonic fans might want more of that cool Sonic attitude. You know, backwards hat, skateboard, buka shell necklace, boombox. That's not really present here. He, he's still very much a, a child at heart. He, he's a kid. It's referenced multiple times. He's younger in these movies. He's still growing into his own. Maybe we'll get the more brooding, werehog style Sonic in later films. Tails and Knuckles are the other new furry friends that join the cast. Knuckles is great. Idris Elba really brings that baritone to the role, that sexy voice, that power, that dominance. I mean, even I'm getting turned on just talking about it. I love his naivete to everything happening on Earth. He has a bit of Son of Odin thing going on from the early Thor films where uh, there's a little bit of a disconnect between how he talks compared to most people on Earth. Which brings us to Tails. Now, Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Sorry if I said that name wrong. She's the voice actress for the character. She has been for, I, I assume, a very long time. I know fans were very excited when she was cast in the role. And to her credit, she does a great job voicing Tails for the video game. And not so much for the movie. Here's the deal. Colleen does a fine job voicing Tails. He's a cute little scamp who runs around. He's a big Sonic sycophant. I think it's more the dialogue she's given to work with and maybe not as much of a performance, but there's definitely a disconnect between when Tails talks and everyone else that just feels off. I feel like a speech bubble should be coming up next to him and a mission objective should pop out from the bottom. And he's like, okay, Sonic, we just gotta get through this turn and then we're gonna be okay. Make sure to collect all six emeralds and you can create the master emerald. Whoa, look out, Sonic. I say it's partially the script's fault because some of the dialogue is so bad. He often talks about Sonic like the dude's not even in the room. He'll say, that's classic Sonic, or that's so Sonic the Hedgehog. Dude, you guys just met. I know you've been like secretly spying on him for years, which is kind of creepy, a little bit bizarre, but come on, bro, pick up on the social cues. So Tails, while cute and delightful, doesn't quite work for me in this movie. He's not terrible, don't get me wrong, he's still fine, he's still Sonic's best friend, it's, it's a good time, but something about him's just not matching everyone else in the film. And while his dialogue and most of his jokes don't work for me, thankfully everyone else looks pretty great. The, the jokes do stick more often than not. There's some funny side stories, which run far too long, we'll get to the runtime in a little bit, but there is a lot that really works in this film. And overall, I really had a good time. I enjoyed it. I think it's probably on par with the first. I like the quicker pace of the first movie and the runtime in general, but this does have a lot of fun moments and a lot of unique set pieces that really stand out and, and do bring Sonic into a much larger world than even the first did. The visuals have definitely been bumped up. Blue Justice looks fantastic. All these CG characters do. 
tons of detail on the fur moving around, even the eyes, which I believe last time were white, have a kind of a, a, a foggy yellow to it, almost like someone pissed on the eyes and then just tried to scrub it off but didn't quite get there. Because us humans have stories to tell in our eyes, and apparently so does Sonic. I didn't mention this prior, but this is a spoiler free video. There is at least one end credit scene, I think there's probably only one. Definitely stay for that if you're a Sonic fan. If you don't know anything about Sonic, this is gonna be nothing to you. If you're looking for more of those Quicksilver-esque action moments like the first movie had, they do have them, but nothing rivals the bar scene for me. I thought that was the best moment in the Sonic film so far. Although there are some really cool action moments, they just don't last very long. And I'm at the length again, so let's get into it. The movie is two hours long. That's too long. We don't need a two hour Sonic the Hedgehog movie, especially with the content we've been given. I think I will do a separate spoiler video for this movie because there are a few things I do want to talk about that are so completely ridiculous. I just, I just have to say something. It probably won't be a long video. Anyway, this was a fun movie. My son, who's just turning 10, absolutely loved it. He's a massive Sonic fan, so this was like a dream come true. This is like the equivalent of me seeing Ninja Turtles 2 in theaters and just how giddy I was at the time. Now I wanna hear from you though. Have you seen the film? Did you love it? Did you think it was a step down from the first? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you wanna hear more from me. And there's a notification bell you can hit too so these show up right in your feed every time you don't miss an episode. All right, see you soon. If you really like what I'm doing, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or becoming a YouTube join member right here by hitting that button up top. You get access to exclusive videos and other perks that these common peasants can't possibly imagine. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go fast to record my next video. I said the thing. I said the thing that Sonic says.